Let's make some bussarines without wasting too much time Because it's nice to have a nice life Outside our bussarine practice room, otherwise what is the point? Alright, so now I'm ready to put my wires back on. I've already prepared my wires. Um, again, I like, to, I like to pull the wire a little bit and stretch it before I cut it. Just because I find it easier to work with. I'm going to put the reed, hold it over the mandrel. Um, in the very beginning, I don't really, it's going to be very loose, so I don't really have to worry about where I place it on the tube. I'm just going to fold the wire around the reed, keeping the top side always on top and the bottom side always on bottom so that the wire doesn't cross. Then I'm going to grab it with my pliers and twist a couple times just, just until um, we sort of start to form the, the normal shape. N now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it down to the very, very bottom of the reed. This is another point of controversy where this third wire should go. I like to have mine right on the bottom. I find that it helps my low notes come out better. Um, so once again, what we do is we, we pull the wire from the, the reed till we get some slack. There's a little bit of slack right here that I can stick my file into. So now I'm going to twist that and take up, to take up that slack. I'm going to pull again. The thing about the third wire is that I'll never be able to re-tighten it. So I want to get this pretty tight without breaking the wire. Uh, as you can see, it looks a little bit crooked, so I want to straighten that out. And I'm actually going to just use my pliers to inch it even, even closer to the bottom. I really don't want to have more than a sixteenth of an inch. Maybe, maybe that's more like, yeah, that's a sixteenth of an inch of cane below. Um, I'm going to pull on it one more time. Tighten. Good. All right, so now I'm ready to do, uh, I'm going to do my first wire. I like to have the first and third wire both pointing one direction and the second wire pointing the other. So with this wire face, facing, pointing towards me, I'm just going to wrap another piece of wire around. Give it a couple twists. Now I like to have my first wire at the very, very edge of the bark because um, even though I'm making you take more time by rewiring and beveling, I like to make, save that time by not having a collar. Um, and instead of having a collar, I'm just gonna have my first wire right there. I find that this works really well, at least um, on Hertzberg and Fox number one shaped reeds. Although plenty of bassoonists insist on there being a collar, I, th I think that it might depend on what shape of, of cane you're using. Um, or it could all be BS and my way is the best. Um, so again, pull, then twist. This wire does not have to be as tight because we will be able to tighten it later. Uh, we don't really want it to wiggle, we just want it to be snug. Um, but th there's a good chance that we'll be tightening that, that wire a couple times over the course of its life. So again, Third wire at the very bottom, first wire, the very top of the bark. Now we get to a really, really important part of, of the reed making. Um, the distance between the first and the second wire I find is incredibly important. Uh, I put mine at 5 sixteenths of an inch apart from each other. Um, so I'm not going to mark it yet because I'm actually, rather than putting a pencil mark and putting my reed over it, I'm going to measure it once I have the wire on. As you can see, I have the, the, the wire sticking up both on one side uh, for the first and the third wire. For the second wire, I want it to stick up this way. It just it makes things a little neater and easier to deal with. And I'm going to wrap this around. Okay. A lot of store-bought reeds, the wires are, are too far apart. A few of them, they're too close. Um, the reason why I find this so important is that if you have the proper distance between these two wires, you will ha have um, much more effective control as you adjust the wires, which we'll discuss in one of our future videos. Um, so I keep my wires 5 16 of an inch apart from each other. I'm just going to take my metal ruler here. I'm going to measure from the cent from between the two wires to between the two wires. Um, again, I'm going for five sixteenths of an inch, and all right, I have six sixteenths. It looks like.
Five sixteenths of an inch. Beautiful. Uh, I generally keep my second wire pretty tight. Pull, then twist. Can't say it enough, people. You're going to break some wires. It's going to break your hearts. Pull, then twist. All right. So now we've got the wires on. Uh, all we have to do is, is clip them. Um, the third wire I'm going to clip pretty close um, because it's going to get covered up with glue. Um, as you can see, I didn't, I didn't leave much there. I'm going to leave a little bit more on the first and second wires so that if I need to retighten them, I've got more to grab with my pliers. Um, And now that's is ready to glue.